you guys got to check out this new plow. Mounted on the front of my bucket. It's a highway plow. 12 footer off of one of those big trucks. Had my buddy weld up these little mechanisms here. You just drive the bucket into it and you chain it on. And those are actually two independent, I don't know, I don't know what you call them, brackets that you drive into. So everything still moves. So it sort of rocks up and down with the road. You think that'd be a lot of weight out in the front of there, and I'm sure it is. But it seems to do a real good job. You just adjust it by lifting the bucket up, curling it, or tilting it forward a little bit. I just want to show you guys that. Very hard to find anything on the internet. Here, Kai, come stand in front of that. Just for <laughs> perspective. Six foot tall. Yeah, it's come more to the edge. So, yeah. So that gives you a bit of a perspective. He's uh, eight feet tall. But anyway, it does a good job. Seems to do a pretty good job. <laughs> it's a really good job. The only thing is, is that of course it's an angle plow, right? So not exactly perfect for a lot like this. It's good to scoop stuff out of the way, but you know, you need a box plow for something like this. Was oh, that the truck running? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you need a box plow for something like this. Um, we got to get that car out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to do the trick, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it'll easily clear out this kind of stuff. It's just, I hate to pile everything up and over into that spot. But what's good about here is you can push it all and then push it into that little area that we don't use right there, right? Just dump it all there. 100%. It works tickety-boo, man. It works really good. I'll just good. have to 
come spend a day clown. But yeah, it gives you a good idea of uh, how it's supposed to look. How it does look. I was thinking about, you know, box plows are pretty darn expensive, right? So these here, I got this at Ed Salvage. They're still kind of expensive, but it is what it is. I guess it's a little bit more expensive than scrap steel. Just uh, I was thinking about buying another one of these, taking that angle off it, cutting the top of it right off flat, then just uh, mounting a basically the same kind of a dealy up, uh, taking this bar here, mounting to one of these. And then it's a box plow and it's 12 feet wide. It'll do this area in no time. I mean, even if you buy just a plow without a bracket, you built. You just make a bracket for it. It'd be the exact perfect thing you'd want. But he's, he's all comes. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think that'd be the trick, right? If he just yeah. if he just cut that right off. That, I mean, that's just an animal. The really good thing about this is I tried scraping that road down the other day, and there's lots of rocks because that's a gravel road. Um, every time that bucket had hit a rock, and the road just bang, like really hit it hard. This here you don't notice because it's on an angle. It sort of shaves everything right off. So all that garbage, because there's mounds of uh, frozen rocks on the side, it just cuts all that stuff right up. It's really good for, it almost, uh, well, it acts like a, a grater. <laughs> cuts like a knife. And you can see how every time this side knife thing digs in, the whole paw goes like bang, because it just follows its uh, direction, right? So we're going to bend that knife right off? You probably, maybe. I don't know. Well, there you go. So this is a good look. I mean, when I looked on the internet to try to find a diagram or a picture or something to try to figure this whole thing out, it wasn't easily or readily available. But this is the buddy, or this is the idea that Buddy the welder came up with, and it looks pretty darn good, eh, Carl? Yeah, that's good. Nice. Okay, let's jet. Well, we could make another couple of adjustments too, right? We yeah. Could, we could angle that so it just cuts more. Um, now, it depends on the time of year when the ground is really uh, soft at the very start. I barely even like to do anything. I like to pack it down with the wheels a whole bunch. But uh, I don't know. We can we can play with that and uh, adjust that a little bit too. Yep. Pretty cool. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 